Welcome to Halo University. In this series of videos, I will teach you to go from this to this. In today's episode of Halo U, we will be covering what I find to be the most useful armor ability in Halo 4, and that is the Promethean Vision. What's up guys, it's Markin. As you saw from the video, we're going to be on episode 4 of Halo U tonight, and we're going over the Promethean Vision Armor ability. Now in my opinion, this is the top ability that's in Halo 4. Um, there's some other abilities out there that some people are using a lot, but I find the Promethean Vision to be the most effective and the most useful. Uh, a lot of people are rolling with the invisibility, with the camo, and um, you know, it seems like People are using that a lot, but it only lasts for so long, and it's kind of, uh, you know, a defensive ability, it seems like, when you're trying to get away from somebody or when you're trying to, you know, sneak up on somebody with a close-range weapon. That's really the only time that um, it's really going to come into effect. Also, the light shield a lot of people are using, which somewhat like the armor lock ability from Halo Reach, where... You hold up a shield in front of you, block shots from in front of you, but your movement is very limited and you can't fire any shots. So once again, a defensive ability, it's not going to help you it out at all offensively. And I think Promethean Vision, you're able to use it offensively and defensively. And I think just overall it helps out your game more than any of the other armor abilities. Now what Promethean Vision is, is it's basically if you've ever played Blacklight Retribution, it's a, a wall hack. It allows you to see enemies through walls. You'll turn on your ability and the color of your screen will change. It will show you enemies outlined in red and you can see them through walls. Now it picks up on any enemy whether they are standing or crouching. Your minimap will pick up on enemies who are standing, who are walking, who are sprinting, but it will not show enemies that are crouched. Now with your Promethean vision you can see all enemies even if they're crouched you'll be, still be able to see them on the map even if they're standing running you can see them using your Promethean vision not a problem at all now the only thing the Promethean vision does not pick up is the invisibility that we spoke of earlier so if somebody is using invisibility you are not going to be able to see them with the Promethean vision but that is the only time you won't be able to see your enemies using this so overall I mean it really can be used in any situation now I like to use it mostly right after I spawn. If I get killed and I spawn in, I take a look around first without the vision and then I'll flip the vision on to see where the enemies are. It'll give me, if I don't see any enemies on my minimap or just in a normal view, I put on the vision like I just did there and it'll give me a general idea of where these enemies are. Now on some of the bigger maps, even when I uh, where I, when I spawn, I know enemies aren't going to be near me, but on the bigger maps, I'll still use the vision because it'll give me a general idea of where the other team's coming from. So I'm able to know where these shots are going to be coming from, know where I have to go to get my kills, and know where I need to go to avoid being killed. So I think right off the spawn's a great time to use it, and also right when you're done killing an enemy. Uh, right when you're done killing somebody, you're, you're showing up on the map, you're firing, you're moving, and people are going to be able to see you. So if you flip it on after you kill somebody, you'll be able to see if there's anybody on the other team who's coming to kill you, and you're able to react to that. Now, a lot of people only use this armor ability to see where the enemies are. They don't really use it as an, I guess you could say, an offensive tool as much as others. Now, when you put on your Promethean Vision, say you're in a firefight, you're shooting at somebody and they retreat behind a wall. Put on your Promethean Vision, you'll get a full silhouette of where they are, whether they're crouched, whether they're coming back to try and get another shot on you, whether they're running away, and you can actually change your game plan based on what you see. If you see that they're hiding behind a wall and they're getting ready, by the way this is a terrible use of the shotgun, never ever do this because it's awful. Um, <laughs> if you see that they're behind a wall and they're trying to come out and get that last headshot on you as you are on them, you can put your cursor right to where their head is. So if they are standing normally, you can put your headshot, you can put your reticle right where their head is. 
and you can keep your vision on seeing where their head moves. If they jump, you can keep your reticle on their head, you aim up. If they're crouched down hiding and they're trying to creep around the corner, you'll know that their head's right there. So you can use it very offensively to get that last kill, that last shot to get the kill. Uh, another great way to use it is to anticipate the enemy's movement. Now if you're, once again, if you're fighting somebody and you're shooting at them and they go and duck away, run behind cover or something like that, and you're not sure where they're going next, you can put on the vision and it'll allow you to see if they're trying to flank you. Look at this railgun ownage, by the way. You can see if they're trying to flank you, if they're running to retreat, if they're just camping out trying to, uh, you know, make you waste some shots, and you're able to anticipate what they're going to do. If they are crouched down, you know that they're probably not going to move and they're not going to be running away. So you're going to be able to, if you have your shields, to charge at them and get that last shot. Now if they're sprinting away from you, trying to get out of, you know, get out of dodge because they know that they're the weaker one in this battle and that you're going to be able to kill them, you're going to be able to, you know, find another way, try and flank them, find out where they are running to, to cut them off and get that last headshot for the kill. Another thing that you want to use the Promethean Vision for is defensively. Now, if you're in the exact same situation I just spoke of, but you are weaker and you're getting, you know, attacked from these other guys, as you're running away, you can put on the Promethean Vision, do a quick 180, see if the other guy is chasing you, see which direction he's going, and change your movement based on where he is moving to. So if you're getting chased, your shields are down, you want to turn around with your vision on, see if that other person is chasing you, if they're backing up, and it's a great defensive ability to use. And one last thing I want to hit on real quick is, using the Promethean Vision, you can actually see what weapon your enemies have. So if you see them with a rocket launcher, get out of there. If you see them with a pistol, go ahead and charge at them. This has been episode 4, guys. I appreciate watching, and I'll catch you later. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video guys, on the left there you see I have my latest Battlefield 3 video, I talk about what I think of the multiplayer a year later, and on the right we have my last Halo 4 video, I have a quick tip involving the sniper rifle for you noobs out there, and I asked why, uh, why did you guys sub to me in the first place, kinda curious about that, and as always, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and click my name at the bottom and it'll sub you right up. Thanks for watching.